All right, guys, Josh Tech Gamer back again with another tech video. So uh, we're going to do a video on uh, lighting, 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 lighting. Now, oh, I've been watching tons of videos on how to do lighting and stuff. And I didn't realize how much depth and how much you have to get into about it. I mean, you don't have to, but when you're doing filming and YouTubing and vlogging or whatever, uh, there's all about lighting. Well, vlogging outside because you got daylight. But like inside, but like inside, there's a lot about lighting and aperture lights and umbrella lights. So, uh, if you guys noticed my past videos, there's been a lot of lighting adjustments, and some are bright, some are too bright. And the reason is because I have a ring light with a diffuser over it, and I'm using today in this video to give it to more warmth and more color of the video to make it look better. So, uh, yeah, so I watched tons of videos on how to use it, how to reflect light, how to use a diffuser and stuff. So literally this stuff is really cheap. Now, I know it could be very expensive on lighting and aperture lights. I literally, $500,000, it's insane. But you could buy some cheap umbrella lights if you got a lot of space for at least under a hundred bucks. Uh, the ring light I did get was $31 as I looked today. Right now it's $31 plus $10 for the sheet. Or you can use a shower curtain or something white um, to diffuse it, the light. So so why, so why have the diffusion light, diff, you know, have it softer and stuff? What does it do? Well, I'm going to show you because this is what it looks like with proper lighting and a diffusion sheet. And then when you take this off. Yeah. So it's okay to have light, but you want the light to reflect and spread out. And what happens is it's not doing that. It's shooting straight on me. I'm looking super bright and stuff. So this is actually uh, what I bought. So this is like nine bucks. It's just a sheet you could put uh, as a diffuser. Um, so basically you're gonna hang this up on the side and you're gonna get that perfect warm color so I can actually put it closer further uh, either way if whatever makes it better so yeah let's put it back on because it's super brighting and plus there's a lot of shadows as you guys can see so it makes my face look and you can see a lot more detail so especially when it's 4k camera alright there we go so actually this is what it looks like with the diffuser so it looks a lot better it looks more natural um, so basically what you want to do is you want the light to spread out and that's why when you watch youtubers or Filmmakers they have these big umbrellas because the light is spreading out so it looks more even if you have a light straight on you You're gonna have cast shadows in the back and it's just gonna look awful Now some people don't care about lighting and some do but the thing is if you want a good video to make it look great um, You got to have proper lighting you can have the most expensive camera in the world and if you don't have the right lighting It's just not gonna look good so uh, basically you want warm color and soft light and natural skin tone so you don't look too orange, too yellow, or too white, or too bright. That kind of rhymed. So I watched tons of videos on YouTube that explain to me all about lighting. And I was just scratching my, my head and like, wow. I didn't realize how much there is to know about lighting and diffusion and stuff. Now, like I said, if you guys want to check out these two items, I'll put it in the description below. Um, there's other stuff you can type in, like aperture lights. They have like little mini lights you could actually use for the sides to have more light behind you and stuff. But um, I think this is actually pretty nice, and I'm actually going to stick with this. I was using the ring light for my streamings, but since I'm not streaming as much, I know. Um, I'm gonna you be using this and plus this gives it more of a warm color so when I'm editing I don't have to go in there and adjust the colors as much and mess with all the saturation and all that BS because I was doing that before and it was just horrible I looked too orange and the lighting wasn't right so um, yeah I tried to explain it to mrs. tech gamer and it just bounced off her you know like bullets because it just was kind of gibberish and if you're not a really a filmmaker or you don't know anything about this stuff it, it just doesn't make sense so <laughs> it's kind of like okay but if you know about filming and editing and doing YouTube videos and lighting and uh, you're a filmmaker you will definitely understand um, but for me I didn't know how much I need to know about lighting 
if I want good lighting for videos and stuff. And yeah, so um, I watched tons of videos on about it, how to set it up. Now you also could use reflectors and have it reflect off stuff so it bounces off and it bounces onto you. So, um, that's, so basically that's what it is. So um, uh, if you watch my friend uh, RA Visuals channel, he uses the big light on his side and that's how he gets that good lighting and stuff. So um, he knows what I'm talking about. If he watches this video, he's going to understand. So uh, yeah, if you guys do watch, if you guys make videos and you guys are filmmakers, you'll definitely know what I'm understanding and what I'm talking about. Now I'm still learning about lighting. Trust me, I am not an expert when it comes to lighting. I'm I'm still a rookie. I mean, there's a lot to learn. I don't know half of that stuff. I'm still learning my camera with the shutter speed, so I don't get uh, reflecting lights in the background and stuff. It's just um, very very complicated stuff to know about. I mean. If you want the best videos to get because I watch a lot of youtuber tech videos and their lighting is superb uh, yeah video uh, tech youtubers their videos and their lighting looks superb and I'm sure they go into their settings and mess with the uh, edit program the color contrast is um, you know the brightness all that stuff and I do too sometimes because you want to get the you know the best so anyways guys that's about it just short little video on lighting and stuff and it is about tech technology why not we'll do I actually never talked about lighting because I never actually really had to and now I got this camera and I want like warm colors and warm lighting and not to look super bright and blasting in my face so you guys just see every crick and cranny so because this is 4k so we got 4k now so and you want it to look the best, especially when you're, um, hopefully the camera's not focusing in and out because I was actually doing the last video when it was focusing a lot. So, all right, guys, well, that's about it. Uh, yeah, let's just talk about lighting. Thanks, guys, for watching. If you guys want to check out these um, items, literally, the ring, ring light is $31. It's not the best, dirtiest ring light, but it works. For 31 bucks, they do up, go, go up, ring lights go up to $100. Uh, the diffuser is eight ninety nine, or ten bucks. Um, this is pretty. It's a pretty good size. So um, yeah, they do have like racks you can hang the diffuser on, so you could have it closer and have warm color. So that's about it, guys. All right, thanks for watching, Josh Tech Gamer. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, hit them down below, and I will check you guys later.